In Creo 12, we have introduced the notion of stretch tangent control on style surfaces. I have created these two surfaces already. Now, I'll open style and loft a surface between the two surfaces. For simplicity, I'll make this side just a position constraint through the constraint table. If we look further down the constraint tab, we can see the area for stretch tangent. By selecting to show stretch tangent, we can now see a value indicator on the model. If I take the handle and drag it, we affect the influence of the surface connection type on the surface. We can also modify this value by putting it into the stretch value dropdown. This way you can make sure that the influence of the surface connection type remains standard across your models or is scaled by the same amount where you'd like it to be. Either way, controlled by you. We can also parameterize this value. Exiting style, I will look at the dimensions of my surface and I can see this parameterized value shown. And if we move one of the base surfaces, we can see that the shape updates automatically, as you would expect in Creo. Let's look at a different model with a chain of loft surfaces. In this shape, you can choose the direction of your stretch control based on which surfaces you'd like to influence the model. In addition, we can see that this is available for more than just the tangent connection type. You can control surface connection influence for curvature connections and, if applicable, acceleration connections as well. This enhancement brings you even more control over your style surfaces.